We were 14 days out from the Tartugas. The sea becalmed us. And then there in the Sargasso Sea we lay adrift. We had been sailing for Birmingham with a full load of riches from the new world and the nobles that gained passage through favor through the king. They lived well, drinking wine, cold wine in the heat far below and laughter and music we heard while the crew lay sullen breaking out in fights as the sun beat down, beat down upon us mercilessly without a breath of wind. Without a breath of wind, we were being driven mad, mad on this sea, silent and silver as far as a burnished coin that could not be spent but in hell. And then, then there, finally, on the 27th day, a cry from the crow's nest, land, land ho! And we staggered to the rail, the bedraggled lot of us, and looked indeed, we were bearing fast upon this strange, strange island, massive as it was, and spiky with vegetation, but no, we all quailed. We were not moving, for the wind was still nil. This, this thing bearing upon us with eyes that suddenly opened in a horrible visage. Eyes, eyes, and a swinish tusk and muzzle. And from this horrible creature issued these words. I am the big whale. And long do I root upon the likes of greedy men such as you. I am the pig whale, he cried, and this horrible beast burst upon the ship, splintering the timbers, the cries of the men overboard, and falling into the roiling sea as he slashed and smash this ship to of the terrified nobles. Their last breaths, pitiful and weak, in the maw of the beast, in the maw of the pig whale. Finally, I managed to open my eyes. 
was alone, I drifted till they savages picked me up in their canoe, and I lived out my days among them, my days, for I would never again dare, I would never sail, I would never again dare the pig way!